Hello and welcome to The Legend of Grimrock 2. Here we are on Legend of Grimrock 2. We're going to play a custom dungeon, the Beach of Survival, B6. This is in development. We're going to play this for about half an hour. Let's see how far we get. Here we are on the fantastic beach. Look at that water. That goes out a long way. So there's a secret door. What's that? hut in the distance. There's a hut in the distance and there's a secret to be found just on the beach here. A little bit further in the water. Somewhere around here I think. Oh here it is. So a little bit of uh, around and you can find this orb of Vilsen. There's four of those in the game but if you can find three of them you're doing well because three of them open up um, a corridor down to the tomb section of the game. So that's one thing to be interested in. Um, this, these doors are the main problem with your beach at the moment because we need to get down there to the dungeon. That's where the dungeon is. A fantastic dungeon down there. This place is crawling with crabs. But just over here is another quite an interesting secret because this place is hollow. So we go through and here's secret number two. Fish around in here for some arrows. Keys, food, Bakewell tart, more accurately, blueberry pie. Well, yeah, they're good. I think that's it. I think we scavenged. Oh no, there's one piece of blueberry pie left. And that's it. So we can have a little look around and see if we can get those gates open. graphics. Lovely graphics. Beautiful blue sky. Some more gates down here, but they don't open for a little while. So we go along here, we solve the problem with these gates first by just going to the other side of there. There's a lever that opens those doors. Turtle's having a lovely mud bath. Here's our first scroll. What does it say? Fire burst. Is that symbol there? Let's open those gates indoors. She's great! say goodbye to the beach for the time being. Lovely beach, look at this. It is gorgeous. It really is. Fantastic. Ah. They have done a marvellous job on it, I've got to say. Fantastic. Right, now we're going to visit the dungeon. Just down those steps. Oh, it's a bit watery down there. You've got to go through a bit of a ordeal. That comes down. And down in here, a couple of crusaders. This is known as the crusaders level. Simply due to the fact that we've got some cru crusaders. It looks like there's nothing down there. But in fact, if you look at that, there's a lever there. So there is a little bit more to that. And you see, I don't drop down there. Really, this is not a very good way of doing it, to be honest. Um, there's quite a lot of dungeon to explore, but don't worry, you end up back on the beach soon enough. Get to meet these two geezers pretty soon as well. 
So on the other side of there, it's a kind of a castle area. That's quite handy over there. But uh, the scheme of things as you go along here is if you're looking for a stone on the floor, just like this one here, that indicates that there's a secret. If you look on the wall, just where the stone is, which is just there, there's a button there. So now we go down further into the game. Fantastic gun here. It's got zero ammunition. So on here there's another stone. Just a little bit of a junior section to give you the idea of looking for secret buttons. So the red stuff is health potion. Um, there's a sling there for our rat friend at the back there to throw stones with. There's another secret button right on the wall there. A very important bowl. The sorcerer. Actually, the rat master can do um, potions. He's actually got uh, the skills to do it. So our young lady on the front, this is coming up in red. Because she's not skilled enough to shoot the thing. The rat master will do that later on. Purple is potion. Oh, it's a closed in, which means let's press the button again. We are doing pretty well. Right, we go along here and we come to a dead end. And there's an empty wall bracket there. And the idea is you put a torch in the empty wall bracket and the way ahead opens up. There's the torch, and there's the way up. We can't use it as yet. So we we'll take the torch. Just a case of putting the torch in the wall bracket. Very easy stuff to begin with. Oh! We've got a shirt for the young lady. Protection plus one. All adds up. So as we put that into there, this opens up road ahead of us. Actually, on the wall is another secret button. Closes that down. This one comes up. We've got a bit of fighting to do now. Cool, that, that fills things all. Just, oh, look at that. Oh, it's out of all that. They're all fighting. Gosh, that was fantastic, that was. Very impressive. So this is the etherweed. If we give this to the rat master, together with this bowl in his hand, he can actually, I believe, do a spell. There you are. Yes, he's produced that blue stuff. Cool. Very impressive. So at the moment, the rat master can actually. Oh, look at that. That's a bit of an improvement on that stick. Damage 1 to 4, damage 10 to 30, oh I say, and that was a secret worth having. So there's a bit of a secret here, if you place this scroll back in those two things, then something secret will have happened down here. See, this is now opened. We've got a fantastic flipping sword for the young lady, can she actually use it? Yes she can. Oh, if she had, if she had uh, a concentration of one, she could use the lightning bolt as well. Oh, there's loads of stuff down here. Meteor storm. Oh my goodness. What's this one then? Let's have a look. Oh, we can't use that. That needs heavy weapons one. Nine to twenty-seven. Got that already with the battle axe, really. Interesting. Poison cloud. That's some great stuff to pick up there. There's another scroll here. Ice shards. And there's one more. There's a little tiny little secret button there. So if, you, if you know it, then you've got all these bonus arrows. Known as frost arrows. And they work um, with the Rat Master's bow when he gets one. Which won't be long. 
are on our way. We're going to grab that. It's nice to have some light along the way. Have that as well, I think. Ooh, another Wilson's orb in here. Look, number two. We've got two of three now. This one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what a difference these weapons make. It's absolutely brilliant. another stone on the floor here. So every time you see a stone, it's well worth bearing that in mind. So there's the button. And now we can jump down to explore this lot. So there's various doors along here. There's one there. This one here needs a brass key. It's got a special lock there. You can go down there. Just along here, there's another secret. The great thing about this little cubby hole here is that you can press the button in here and you're in safety. And you can have a little bit of a rest in case your team is getting beaten up. That's that. Got loads of arrows. The stuff the um, wizard can use. Oh, we've got axe there. I don't think we need it though. Uh, let's have a look. The axe gives you 5 to 15. Uh, this is double. This battle axe is double that. But you see, it's always great to have the choice. So your team's back up to strength. Just press the button again to get out. We are doing great. sandals there, which the Minotaur does like to wear his flip-flops. Missed out on the beach, he was all uh, sandy toed on the beach. So if you look up here, there's a couple of alcoves that are out of reach. Um, you can see some stuff in that one there, but we don't know what's in this one. There's obviously some more cold arrows in there, I should think. But if you drop down from that one up there, you might be able to scavenge those alcoves there. See what you can do with them. There's another doorway over here. That comes into play a bit later on. So for now, we're going to jump down this pit to the next level. <coughs> Poor old wizard has hurt his thighs. He's a bit cheesed off. But luckily, the rat master can sort that out because this blood drop blossom stuff, he can... Um, sort that out using the bowl. So that's what he's going to do. We've got the Rat Master. Give him some stuff. And he can also do some stuff for himself. That's great. Um, we're just about to get a bow in this section here. But he hasn't got it yet. So I'm going to keep on using the throwing arrows. Where are we? Go to south. That's the safest one to go on. Just then, just fighting that one in front of you, that's the only thing. The 
other three haven't come out yet. That's the whole difference. Go south on that one. Get a scroll of lightning bolt. Um, and if you want to, you can rest your team. Make sure your team's alright. Hmm. <laughs> you got a one damage on that, that's great. Right, final one coming up. They're pretty easy to fight, these mummies, really. Mind you, I was having said that, we got these weapons. There's a bit of a different story if you haven't got the weapons. Um, so, skills. This lady here, definitely, she goes up on light weapons. Um, he can go up on alchemy, I think. Because you want him to do the spells. That's it at the moment. She just put that away because it's a bit of a. That's that, those uh, or Wilson orbs are more keys than anything else, really. There's a flint block there. But now Ratmaster will soon be qualified to use it, but he's more interested in the bow, to be quite honest. The bow is the way to go. So he's got four frost arrows that they actually work. So we can do a bit of a break. Oh! Being attacked. Level up on the minor tool, he can go up on heavy weapons. That's it. A rat master, he can go up on missile weapons, I think. He likes his bow and arrow. They're great. Got attacked by a crow urn then. Most unseemly. So it doesn't matter which one of these you drop down from really. It's a pretty quiet place along here. You could jump down to there right now, but there's a few goodies to be had, that's the only thing. Um, there's trousers there for our young lady. Gives you protection plus two, vitality plus two. What's in here? Now this stuff is for a crossbow, which we haven't got, but uh, it's always worth considering. Uh, Minotaur can have a jacket. That's fantastic. More crossbow stuff. You do find a crossbow in the end. It is there? It is in the game. But it's a long way off. Prison key. We got a prison key, so it's worth having a little look. Oh, got a blood drop bl blossom there. Very nice too. Oh, this is really worth having. This is potion of resurrection. What's that in, over there? Look at that. Look at that. What on earth is going on there? Look. See that? That's a that's an emergency exit. That is. Definitely, yeah. Oh, the undead have gone nowhere. So I think we've searched out this mid-level place. Yeah, we have. And this here, have we got an iron key? Oh, we have. So we can have, we can have a look at the castle grounds. We can have a little look at the castle grounds. It's always worth having a look. It's quite impressive. Here they are. Look, look at that. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Cool. Look at that. So we don't need to come up here at the moment. Just come up for a quick look. Um, that leads to the blue stone that place however if you use it without a gold key you can't get out so it's very little 
point going there without the gold key. Do need to exit the place. And it's a pit down, so. Bearing in mind. on that arrow, that's not bad. Right, what are we looking for now? We are now looking for... Oh, what was a crow -er? We're now looking for a secret button around here. Uh, or is it... Oh no, it's the torch, isn't it? Look, go up there. You could do, but there's a secret button a bit further down here. It's on, not, obviously not on that corner. Must be on this one here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's well worth coming down here because there's a white wood wand in there. letter tells you about the fact there are three precious gems to be had. There is the Sorcerer's Whitewood Wand. It's well chuffed with that. Um, I suppose now that he's got his skill he can do the herbs, get used to him doing the herbs. We're going to upgrade him further on that. So it's worth having that. So. Now we're going to go up the stairs to the next level to take on uh, a horde of mummies that are going completely rabid. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got a secret horde to check out here, including a wonderful necklace. Frostbite resists cold plus 50, which is well worth having. We take on the Ice Guardians. Ten bullets there for the Ratmeister when he gets qualified. That stone just tells you there's a secret door. And down there is quite a horde of savage beings. Another secret room. Mainly food. Bombs as well. those mummies came out of. So we were just going straight to the horse's mouth. Now if you go a bit further along here, there's a button there that stops the rest of them getting in there. Ruining your day. More bullets for the Ratmeister. Another key. Oh, look at this, a mine key. That comes in handy a bit later. Gold key, so now we can go to the blue stones. What 
the heck is this thing? What does that do? 4 to 12 damage. Cool. No chance. No chance. Is this is a hat from the Rat Master. Um, our sorcerer needs a bite to eat. give up. So now we're in that place where you saw earlier on where we could jump down to to those very high alcoves. Yeah, give him some trousers. If you look down, that's where we were looking up at those alcoves. So we jump down. And we can grab, oh my goodness, look at this. Fantastic sword. And this is really hand handy. There's a staff there. A sorcerer. stuff we got a acolyte staff which will deal with any um, ethereal entities that you come across and we've got a most amazing sickle sword we can't use it at the moment but it really is amazing 15 to 40 oh yeah that's double that's double the sword we've got at the moment it's a really great sword to use so we are gonna have to go back down the same pit oh crikey great look at this He's hurt his feet. Marvellous. He's hurt his thighs. She... What's, what's she done? She's, she's hurt her feet. So in the end, to get around all this problem of the injuries, as you go down the pits, there are a couple of ropes in the game, and obviously uh, the sooner the better, really. We're looking for the rope. It's not that far off. In the meantime, all you can do is pray when you go down those. So we've got to go back to where we came from using the same steps as before. Oh, here we are, look, we're here. It didn't take long. And we're back. stuff already. Hmm, what's his problem? <laughs> yeah. Bowl is there. He should be able to do some stuff to help out the Minotaur. Yep, Minotaur's fine now. So we are going to have a bit of a break. Get the team back up. <laughs> These are the herds. I can the base, which has just opened up. We need to sort them out. Some fantastic secrets in their base, actually. Actually, we've got some bombs that might help in this situation. I'm not too sure what they do help. We'll see.
anybody. Uh, this lady here. What can she do? She's going to go. Oh, I think she can use that new flipping sword now. Pretty sure she can. Go on. Oh my god, she can. That was quick. Wow, look at that. That is going to be good. She's going to be great on that. That's a great upgrade. He can go up on. I think he's got to go up on concentration because then he can do his own light. Let's give it a try. No, he can't do it quite yet. If we have a bit of a rest, let's test it out then. Let's see if he can do his own light now. Yay! He can do his own light. That is quite impressive. Fantastic sword. Absolutely brilliant. Ooh, lovely. They've got, they've got some great weapons on the front now. Really Ooh, 76 on that new sword. That's amazing. What a find. I'll tell you what, he can use that blue stuff. And the rat master made him that. Way better than most bombs. Hundred on that new sword. Wow. Right, I think we're getting a bit. Uh Certainly getting a bit. No, he's quite a fighter that one. So she needs some food. No problem. And then they're going to have a bit of a rest before they get so badly beaten up. They can't do anything. actually use that flintlock now. He can go up on heavy weapons. And that's it. Food. Bullets. Food. Food. One bullet. That's it. Flaming arrow. Normal arrow. And there's because there's stones on the ground here, you do realise there is a secret to be had. So we'll check that out. There's 13 arrows, unlucky for some. It's a lovely old treasure trove of bombs here, look. These bombs can sometimes make one heck of a difference. But once they're gone, they're gone. So, I don't know. So, down here there's a very tiny little secret button there, look. Hardly noticeable. That means we've got a couple of these big old sods. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. We can use the freeze bombs. That'd be a really good way of doing it, I suppose. Another one there already. Wow. Yep, I sorted them out. Those big herders are a real risk. They really are. Of course, the whole point of it is where did they come from? And they came from this place here. Oh my goodness, what's this? 
This is the longbow. Oh my goodness, look at that. What a secret. That is brilliant. Well. A longbow is well worth having. Oh, this is a bit this is a shield for our friend at the front. This is a serpent blade. What's all that about? Needs light weapons five. What does it do then? Thirteen to thirty-nine. So that's really weird that is, it doesn't seem... Oh, it's accuracy plus 15, that's what it's all about. So it never misses, basically. Well, it's not far from the one we got already. Um, shock arrows. Ooh, fire blade. Let's have a look at that, fire blade. 8 to 24. It's not as good as what we're using. That was a nice little secret, was definite. Blimey, look at, look at the way the team... Look at this team now. Wow. What a difference. So now we're going back to the same... known as the Bumblebee Room, for obvious reasons. That goes on to the Plantagenet Army. So what we can do is go and have a word with those Crusaders, I think. Because that needs sorting out. We're man enough now to do it. See, it's rock on the ground, sink the bun. We're now going to have a word with one of those Crusaders. trained up. So that has teleported us to this room here. Um, some more arrows and a special button which gets you out. So when that now on the other side of where those that's where those crusaders are in there. This is where we started the game. Actually there's a scroll there that I didn't see. Didn't spot that but uh, over in this corner there there is a lock so if you've got a key, you can use it. You can do it some other time. Loads of food to be had. On this one. It's a lot easier to take out these mummies now. No problem at all, really. Right, we've run out the, the wizard's a bit uh, exhausted, to be honest. But that's alright, because... We've got no more to fight at the moment. Oh yeah, we definitely do with that, for definite. That's where we came from. These weapons on the front are incredible. Really are brilliant. Mm. 
me, poor old Minotaur's really, really is old Minotaur. He, he can't take much more, to be honest. My God, the old Minotaur is in, has been in real trouble there. Is, is there any red stuff for him? Oh, there is. Come on, Minotaur. But he's all right now. It's gonna make a difference. Them out. Right now the team can have a little rest in the library. They do like to read a few passages from Dickens. Ah, there's one there, look, just there. That's Ah, oh, I know what we do. You place the sword to there. Get these doors open. Wizard's hat. Look, he's got that. Look. Oh yeah. Headwear is of great importance. There you are. So what you do is that's a nice little weapon for the Rat Master. Here is the red gem. And if you have a look, little sneaky look to there, you, are, look, you can see the green one as well there. Just to your left, you can see the green one and the red one. We can't get them at the moment. At least we know where they are. Obviously, you can get them later on in the game. So that sorted that out. Very nice too. Fang needs a bite to eat. We've got loads of food. No problem with that. Stairway going down. So it's all coming together very nicely. Very easy. Which is what the game should be at the start of the game, I suppose. Where we're going now is we are going back to take on those mummies we saw um, So we're going to have to go down this pit again <coughs> A young lady's got hurt Bruised thighs Ended up right on the right stairs there, that was lucky. So we are going to go straight down here to take on these in for the walls down. What we do is press this button in. So you can press this button and you are in safety. We've got any red stuff, yes we have. Put that on the ground. We're in a very good position to give the team a bit of a break because we're on to the next part of the mission now. Uh, this one seems... Oh, we can do our own light anyway. We don't need torches now. It's our friend, the wizard. Oh my god. <coughs> use that flipping frozen stuff. <coughs> This is for when you get poisoned. I oh, know, I can't have that. 
You can't eat the bomb. Uh, you can certainly have the poison stuff. So we have lost our rat master at the front, at the back. That is really a shame. But uh, we've got the keys to get down to the blue stones now. You just need one gold key. That's all you need. And you can, so we can get the team down to the blue stones in a minute, and we'll be fine. I suppose really we should get that bowl going in case we need any more red stuff. Um, we're going to be at this stage of the game. We can go to the blue stones and come back and do this later on. So um, that will be the end of this page of the game. This is page one. See you on page two. Cheers.